In the previous presentation, we'd already had a look at uh, Composer Smart templates. In this presentation, we're going to have a slightly closer look at templates and style sheets. So, uh, Smart templates are really define the overall look and feel of and structure of your form. Uh, you can see uh, on the Smart Template selection page, uh, we have two different, several different styles here. Uh, there's one style of form. It really defines the headers, footers, and the overall page layout of my page, which is in this case a uh, letter size portrait orientation. Here's a similar uh, style form, except this is two columns. But you can create completely different styles. So there is actually a letter style. Looks much more like a letter, but is in fact built using exactly the same. PDF technology. Evoke could provide a large number of templates out of the box, um, but we can also uh, customize those templates to exactly suit your organization style guides. Um, the person who designs the smart template also designs the set of widgets or fields um, that, that can be used within that template and make sure that the fields uh, match the overall uh, way that the template is um, designed. Moving on to the next page, uh, we can select a style sheet. The style sheet further refines the smart template by defining things like um, foreground and background colors, fonts, um, label orientation, um, uh, size of text, um, uh, alignment, color schemes, etc. And we can see a variety of different styles and colors here. The real, one of the real powers of uh, Composer is the ability to change a style sheet and a template on a form that you've already created, thus completely changing the look and feel. And I'm going to do that on this particular form, which is currently laid out as a form with captions left. I'm going to change it to a two-column form. I'm also going to stand, change the style sheet to a really garish color and leave everything the same. And you'll see that Composer completely relays out everything um, as you'd like it. And as I switch to the um, preview of the form, and we'll see that really ugly scheme, color scheme showing up. Switching back to Compose, we can just have a very quick look at where we define the style sheets. So there you can actually see the definitions of all the styles. And if we uh, have a look at a particular one, for example, the red one that we've just been looking at, um, we can actually go in and for each of the widgets, widget types within that form, we can define things like the the colors and fonts and tooltip styles and various other attributes of that form quite easily. 